Violence against Asian Americans has been on the rise. L.A. County alone reporting more than mm -hmm. 250 incidents since the pandemic began. That's right. KKL 9's Rachel Kim has details on what's being done to try and stop it and has one victim's story of a frightening incident. He told me to go back to Asia. This was then followed by two minutes of derogatory terms. Oh Hong Lee is describing the frightening encounter she had with a man back in August while she was standing in line at a restaurant in Pico Union. The enraged man began a verbal assault after she turned down an offer to have lunch with him and told him she was married. He hurled sexist and racist insults at Lee, who started to record the incident out of fear. <laughs> I had severe PTSD, insomnia. I was fearful to go outside after my attack. I was asking for help from the patrons and the employees around me, but they didn't help me. Enough is enough. It doesn't matter who you are. Stand with us to stop hate against AAPI communities, period. California Assemblymember Miguel Santiago joined leaders in the local Asian American Pacific Islander community to say the rise in hate crimes in these communities is alarming and will not be tolerated. Most recently, Korean American Air Force veteran Denny Kim was the victim of a violent racist attack in Koreatown. We are going to fight back every way possible. The Asian Pacific Policy and Planning Council says since the pandemic began, 250 hate incidents and hate crimes have been reported in L.A. County, but they believe there are many more that have gone unreported. Now, these include verbal harassment, discrimination, and in some cases, physical attacks. We urge the public to report any attacks, including discrimination, bullying, harassment, and violence against AAPI individuals so that we may, number one, collect more data regarding hate incidents, and number two, help local law enforcement identify and prosecute criminals. Every police station has a detective who is assigned as the hate crime coordinator. That detective works on many cases, but their specialty is directed toward hate crimes. If you're ever a victim or witness an act of hate, I strongly encourage you to speak up and report it, because chances are you may not be the only victim. In, in my case, there were more than five other victims. Reporting in Koreatown, Rachel Kim, KCAL 9 News.